start off, I mixed a white cream makeup with my foundation to give a lighter complexion for a base. For the eyes, I used a white eyeshadow base so that the colors that were applied on top would appear more vibrant. And then I just made sure to set everything with an HD powder. With a purple eyeshadow, I started mapping out the shape I wanted for my eyes, drawing just above my crease and winging it outwards. With that down, I used a metallic purple shadow on the center of my lid and then used a dark teal along the outer corners and blended them together. I just went along the inner corners with the same white base I used on the lid and then just set with a white eyeshadow. I used a white eyeliner along my waterline to help the eyes appear a bit larger and brighter. With a black liquid liner, I lined just above my lash line and winged it out. Then for underneath my eyes, I just used a gel liner and set it in place with a black shadow to help it stay in place and create a sharper point at the end. With the same purple as before, I then drew on an additional line above the first I had created and blended it against my eyebrows. For the eyebrows themselves, I just started with a cobalt blue color to add some depth and then went over with the purple as well. For some extra dimension, I went in with a lavender shadow to build some contours along the edges of my face and along the bridge of my nose, and then deepen that contour with a darker purple, being sure to carry the colors onto my neck as well. For the Phoenix design, I just used a water activated face paint and a fine detail brush and then started drawing on the line work that I wanted across my forehead and down the side of my face.
lot of the line work, I just focused on flowing and organic lines and adding the idea of embers throughout as my inspiration. With the same purples I had been using, I went over my lips to give them a bit of a gradient. Then with the cream white, I also filled in the space above my crease to enhance the contrast and make it a bit brighter. For the hair I wanted a few colors, so I just sprayed in various lines of silver, blue, and black throughout, and then added a little bit more purple just to tie it all together. I threw in a pair of blue contact lenses and then added some top and bottom lashes, being sure to angle the bottom ones slightly so they followed the line I had created. The last thing I wanted to do was add a bit of glitter to the inner corners just for some fun. And in the end that was it. So thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it, and see you later, bye!